Hey guys, this is your host Matt here with Mental Health Reddit, and today we're going to be reading a post by Shamba Dupe on r slash ask reddit. People who have lost significant amounts of weight, how did it affect your mental health? Before we get into the video today, I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel, and uh, yet again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see this channel grow and you enjoy the content. This is a topic that I've found uh, fairly interesting as I've dealt uh, with uh, you know, weight issues throughout my life at different points in my life. So, all right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this one here. I lost over 150 pounds over the last year and a half. And I would say that my mental health has improved, but the weight loss has also added some crazy to my life. I'm now currently obsessed with keeping the weight off, like really obsessed about it. It drives my wife crazy. But I've worked so hard to get it off that gaining it all back right now would make me hate myself. I'm much happier and healthier, but I do have some added stress in areas I didn't expect. Still totally worth it though. Dude, keep doing you. The wife will be happy and happy. Dude, keep doing you. The wife will have to accept the new and improved dude at work. I've lost about 100 pounds over the past 10 years with calorie counting and activity. Most of the changes to my mental health have been very positive. My lifelong depression? Gone. Anxiety? Greatly reduced. I'm generally pretty happy. The only negative in my mind? The loss of perceived safety and invisibility. No one seemed to notice me when I was fat. Now that I'm a healthy weight, I don't quite know how to deal with flirting, attention, touching, etc. It still upsets me sometimes. Overall, though, 10 out of 10. Would change diet and exercise habits again. I lost between 30 to 40 pounds in college. I think my mental health was about the same. But I did gain a new perspective on some things. Most notably, even though I had dropped from overweight into the healthy range, I was still aesthetically pretty chubby. This was probably a good thing, as it helped me realize that maintaining a healthy weight doesn't mean being thin, and it gave me a better relationship with my body. I lost about 40 pounds. I was super fit in college. When I moved to Houston and started my first job after graduation, I gained a bunch of weight. To me, being even a little fat felt absolutely horrible. I was constantly pulling up my clothes to adjust them whenever I moved or sat down. I didn't like the way things were always rubbing together, and any time I felt the slightest bit rejected, I had this insecurity about it being tied to me being fat. I felt like other women who were thinner felt superior even though they probably didn't care at all. So anyways, after I lost the weight, I felt a huge sense of relief. I have a stronger mind-body connection, and I don't feel defensive all the time. I love the way my clothes fit comfortably and that I don't have to pull up my waistband when I sit to avoid my belly hanging out. It's amazing. I've lost weight and put it back up again. I'm currently heavier than ever and planning to get back to losing weight. But one thing I notice when I'm thinner is how satisfying it is and how happy it makes me to see my clothes fitting me that previously wouldn't fit, and the whole thing of moving from an XL down to an L just made me so happy. It made me feel like there was something wrong with me. When I lost weight, I didn't know there were such things as different body types. I'd be considered curvy because I have wide hips and large shoulders. So I thought that if I lost weight, I would be as skinny as the other girls in my school. All the girls had very small and thin frames. But when I did, my hip size didn't go down, my shoulders didn't shrink, obviously. So I was super depressed, thinking that I was some sort of fat, ugly blob. I now know that I was bigger than everyone else because I went through puberty at a much younger age. My mom is a curvy woman and my dad is over six foot. So at a young age, what I thought was all fat was my body deciding to turn my 10 year old body into a whole grown woman's body. Horrendously. 70 pounds over three years. However, it was lost due to chronic health issues. It's been getting worse thanks to something in my jaw making it hard to chew. Just had my wisdom teeth pulled in March and it's worse now. I was always on the thin side before, and I don't have the money to put towards things like protein or other proper weight gaining food. I'm trying to get over this anorexia by cooking more homemade foods, 
but it seems to be helping everybody in the house but me. Mother and brother have lost weight and are getting better blood test results back. My significant other hasn't suffered from a gallstone attack in over a year, so there's some positives that make me want to keep going. However, I did pick up a new hobby in bread slash pasta making, and it's giving me exercise for when my shoulders aren't flaring up. Plus, the house smells delicious all the time now. I grew up in an abusive household and I am an emotional eater, which obviously contributed to the weight gain. The desire to emotionally eat never goes away, you just have to develop strategies to combat it when it happens. I'm much thinner than I was, but I still have my moments when I succumb to sweets or too many carbs. I've dealt with anxiety both before and after the weight loss. One thing that has improved is my general anxiety over being obese. I didn't suffer from secondary issues like diabetes, but it was always a concern that it could happen. I'm a woman, so there's also general anxiety over scrutiny in the public eye and having a tough time shopping for clothes. I'd say overall my mental health is better. But I'm a tad bit timid now, which I didn't expect. People of all ages and genders are so much nicer when you're not fat. It's so crappy. I'm not any better of a human being now than when I was fat. But I'm treated leaps and bounds better now than I was back then. Honestly, it's been okay. I do worry as to why I'm losing weight. But I think it's been down to my liver sustaining damage from medication earlier in the year. I still can't seem to eat enough. Mentally, I know I could deal with losing the weight anyways. Slight panic, definitely an increase in anxiety. But it's general health, anxiety, than anything else. Sorry, that probably didn't help. I used to have a BMI of around 37 to 38. Over the last three years, I've been able to get it down to around 26 or 27 the last time I checked. My mental health is definitely better because I have one less thing to cry about, but the things I did to get to this point definitely weren't worth it. Every so often I'd skip eating for one or two days, and then I finally did start eating again and I'd force myself to throw up. I still sometimes have the urge to force myself to throw if I feel like I've eaten too much, but things have gotten better. It improved. I feel like a million bucks instead of a slow, sluggish, low-energy, fat ham. Guys were also not disgusted with me anymore to find out that I liked them, and many liked me back as well. People also treated me better. I can also wear anything tight-fitting and it looks good. Life is better when you're not fat. Just generally, a lot more confident, and I realize that I'm a lot more open-minded and more than just clothes. I used to be so conscious about my weight that I sunk into a bit of a toxic cycle, but when I started to lose weight, I felt happier, and I made myself do things I never tried before to prove that the voice in my inner head could no longer hold me back. Also, confidence boosts and I'm a lot more direct when it comes to talking to people. I lost about 90 pounds in 10 months 5 years ago, capped it off. I have worse body image issues now than I did when I was obese. I weigh obsessively. I overanalyze any comment on my appearance. I'm always researching plastic surgery, looking at tummy tucks and arm lifts. Some things won't tighten up no matter how dedicated I am to lifting. It's nice to easily buy clothing and people seem kinder to me, but some days I think it would have been better to just stay fat. Overall, it made me feel so much better especially after I had a tummy tuck a few months ago. I just feel a lot better about myself and my anxiety is more manageable. However, I do sometimes have trouble not to think of myself as that fat girl. That self-image is so incredibly difficult to get out of your head. Okay, so that takes us to the end of the video today. What did you guys think? Leave a comment below, especially if you've ever dealt with any issues regarding the weight. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you. Once again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more mental health Reddit videos and share your thoughts. I'm starting this channel to help viewers out there with issues related to mental health and giving us a place to gather and share our stories. I should be uploading three videos a week going forward, so be on the lookout. Until next time, see you guys.